اهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بنزي متزمعي او حالي جاني نتوما مزي معافي بوبوتو نا بوتيجي كي تي نيوز karibu ni kujuzi aliyebuka na kugunga vichwa vya habari kwenye taarifa hizi za yanayojiri yapo mengi tuliyokuandalia jina langu ni hadi ya mwasiwa na kusihi uandamane nami kuanzia sasa hadi tamati mwa taarifa hizi na moja kwa moja tukingonanga tuanze na hili ambapo rais William Ruto ametangaza kuwa wageni hawatahitaji kibali cha visa ili kuingia nchini Kenya kulingana na rais hili litahakikisha kuwa Kenya imekaribisha ulimwengu wote na kuimarisha uchumi Rais alitoa tangazo hilo wakati wa sherehe za siku kuu ya Jamhuri. Wanahabari wetu Daniel Kariuki na taarifa hii. Rais William Ruto aliongoza sherehe za sitini za uhuru wa taifa ikiwa ni sherehe za tano za kitaifa kuongozwa na Rais William Ruto tangu kuapishwa kama rais wa tano. <tune> sherehe zikihudhuriwa na viongozi jirani kutoka Tanzania, Uganda na Ethiopia na wengineo. Viongozi wa upinzani nchini hawakuonekana kwenye sherehe hizi. Ni hapa ambapo rais ametangaza mabadiliko kwa wageni wanaoingia nchini kuwa hawatahitaji kibali cha visa kuingia nchini. It is with great pleasure as president of this extraordinary country to make a historic announcement of the decision of the government of Kenya beginning January 2024 Kenya will be a visa free country Rais akiongezea kuwa kuna huduma ya kimitandao ambayo itahakikisha kuwa taarifa za kila mgeni anayeingia nchini zimehifadhiwa na kuwa wageni wote watakuwa wanafahamika kabla ya kuingia nchini to echo the call of the Turkana people to the world Tobongu Lore a simple message to humanity welcome home Ruto amekuwa mstari wa mbele kuwasukuma viongozi barani Afrika kuondoa vikwazo vya kufanya biashara na vile vile kibali cha kuingia mataifa haya kusaidia katika masuala ya biashara Hivi majuzi nchi ya Rwanda pia iliondoa vibali vya kuingia nchini humo kwa mataifa ya Afrika <tos> Wakati huo huo kwenye sherehe hizi Rais William Ruto amesema kuwa serikali imepiga hatua kwenye masuala ya uongozi haswa kutokana na katiba kwenye miaka sitini ambapo nchi ya Kenya imekuwa na uhuru wake. Akisema idara na tume mbalimbali mbali zimekuwa na uhuru wao akitaja tume ya uchaguzi na mipaka kama moja wapo ya tume ambazo zimesimama kidete. We are now committed to making sure that at every election Our democratic competition is less about personalities and tribes and more about issues and the national interest. The freedom we gained in 1963 placed us in charge of our destiny. A destiny of freedom from poverty, disease and illiteracy. Our country has made monumental progress in these fronts. National unity means opportunity. No one from any part of this country will ever again thanks to devolution be abandoned to generational poverty and oppression because of their region rais amesema kuwa ushirikiano wa wakenya na haswa wanasiasa na viongozi kutoka mirengo tofauti kumesaidia kupambana na changamoto za nchi Viongozi wengine wa nchi jirani wametoa heko kwa Kenya kwa kusherehekea miaka sitini ya uhuru. Tangazo la Rais William Ruto kuwa hautahitaji kibali kutoka taifa lolote lile kuingia nchini natajiwa kuibua hisia mseto haswa miongoni mwa upinzani. Daniel Kariuki, KTN News, Uhuru Gardens, Nairobi. Na uchumi wa taifa umeimarika. Haya ni kwa mujibu wa Rais William